well, I don't know how I'm going to edit this, but we're stopping at Dan Lawson's place right up the road from the visitor center. It's uh, actually past the visitor center. It's the first attraction that you can do before you can cut back over on the loop uh, road to go back again. But this was right after we just saw the second bear. So we're pretty excited. So we thought we'd stop here again, look at another one of these old timey houses. Kim loves them. Just you can see where they added on to that one. Where the original one, you can tell the difference in construction. Again, you go back to that design of how to meticulously cut everything in to make it all work and stand and last through the years. It's pretty cool. Some more old buildings. So can you just imagine living here in the valley? at Cades Cove back in 1900. Got your fence. Keep your critters in. Your outbuildings. The main house. It's gonna take us at least three days at Cades Cove alone to explore all this and really understand it. This is really nice. Let's go inside the front door. See what's up. Uh, What's up? It's like they had a little, I don't know if that was just erosion path coming through here. That's weird. You definitely see the front part here is added on. Got the shake roof. It's a nice view every morning. Nice little porch to sit out on, get out of the weather. Get your work clothes off, your rain gear. Timey brick fireplace. Imagine the person looking out in here in the evening time, pitch black, dark outside. Let's see if we can go upstairs here. I can get up here. There's the loft, probably the sleeping quarter. Heat rises. Very cool. Good. 
back in the day when you had to work to stay alive. Back ports added on. Very nice. There's Miss Kim. She's checking it all out. Pretty cool place. <laughs>